Really excited to be here with Mr. Boy Punkul, Sales and Marketing Coordinator for Chin Life Changing Candles. What is it about these candles that makes them special? Um, so this candle is not just candles, it's about what it does. So this candle is changing the life of the people who are in uh, most in need. Hmm. So this is uh, that's what about special about this candle. Yeah. And how is it doing that? Because it's not getting up and running down the road to do something. What what's the business model behind this? So um, the business model behind this is that to get people um, buy this candle. Mm -hmm. So many people buy gifts for their family or friends or their loved ones. Mm -hmm. So this candle is not about asking donation, but uh, to change the buying location. Like instead of buying uh, chocolates or you know other stuff for mm -hmm. gifts, so they can buy our candles and at the same time mm -hmm. making a real difference for the life of uh, the Chin people. Mm -hmm. And I'm fairly sure all your profits are going back into supporting the Chin community. Is that the case? Uh, yes. So our profit um, from this candle goes to Chin State in Myanmar mm -hmm. to help uh, people over there. So most of people over there living under poverty line mm -hmm. and struggling every day due to lack of food and medicines and all uh, other stuff. Mm -hmm. So the profit from this candle is going there to help the people over there. Mm -hmm. And I was am completely ignorant. I've learned so much in the last few hours, really, since walking into this about the struggle of the Chin people and the, I believe, uh, 53 dialects in a state as big as Victoria and um, in relative complete isolation. Could you tell me more about that? Like, what's the journey to get back to your home village? Yeah. So um, Chin State is located in the northwestern part of Myanmar, which was formerly known as Burma. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's a um, very isolated area from the big cities in Myanmar. Mm. So um, Chin State has, like you mentioned, more than 53 dialects in one state. Mm. And you can go to village, another village, just a few kilometers, and they, they speak different dialects. Mm. And also uh, due to the uh, isolated area and also the government doesn't reach a lot of um, rural areas. Mm. Um, so Chin people are, are struggling for everything. So there's no basic needs. Mm. Uh, and most of the villages, they don't have electricity, they don't have gas, and they don't have sustainable um, uh, source of uh, food or mm. incomes. So people move around and, you know, doing farmings on their own, mm. and then they survive from their own work. So, and recently, um, <clears throat> because of, maybe because of climate change, mm. the farm doesn't produce enough food for Chin people anymore. Mm. And they've gone through a lot of like famines and facing a lot of difficulties over there. Mm. But the governments or other NGOs not really reaching cheap people out over there and help there. But mm -hmm. so we have to step up and help our own people. So um, we, we are here to help them and we try to support them as much as we can. Mm. And my understanding was that folks like the Red Cross simply don't have physical access to the Chin people. Is that the case? Um, yes, because um, recent, uh, a long time ago, uh, I'm sorry, I mean, um, they have been there quite a long time. Mm -hmm. But because of due to political reason, mm. they didn't have access to Chin State or other ethnic groups in Myanmar. Mm. So even though now we have a, a little bit um, improvement in the government, mm. they have access to like a bigger cities like Hakka, mm. or like Falam, but they can't still really reach rural area like my village, the place I have, I'm from. Mm. So. Uh, they don't really able to reach uh, villages. Yeah. Mm. And one of the co-founders of Chin Life Saving Candles took a quite a long journey to get to Australia. What was your journey like? Yeah, so um, I went to Malaysia mm. and lived there for four years seeking asylums. And uh, sorry, um, I was able to come here in 2004. So mm. it was a quite long journey as well. Mm. And 
What would you ask of people out there, communities, companies, businesses, in relation to Chin Life Saving Candles, Life Changing Candles, excuse me? Yeah. So um, we have a big vision to help the people back home. Um, and we literally went to get rid of poverty. So, and then, you know, liberate the Chin people from poverty. Hmm. However, um, we can't do by ourselves. So we need a lot of um, passionate people, kind people support uh, in order to achieve our goal and vision. Mm. So we really need um, all of your support by buying some candles from us. And like I mentioned before, you don't have to spend extra money. You can just sh shift the, your buying location, you know. Instead of buying other gifts, please come and buy our candles and making a real difference. In the, uh, the same at the same time if there's one thing you wanted people out there to know about chin life-saving candles what would you tell them so chin life changing candle is um, uh, very good quality so very high in quality and we have uh, uh, many different uh, fragrances and it smells really nice so if you buy our candles I'm sure you'll be very satisfied with the quality mm. and I'm sure that the gift you give to people, they will, they will like, they will enjoy the, uh, the smells and, um, and also they will feel amazing knowing that this candle is making something different in the life of the needy people. Mm. For people out there who are busy, and who have their own problems and are trying to, you know, make it in their work and career and get by. Why should they care? Um, because we, uh, you don't have to come to our, our shop and buy the candles. We don't have to. You don't have to waste your time. You can jump onto our website. You can buy from your bed or you can buy from your kitchen, wherever you are, and we deliver to your door um, in the next or two days. If you excuse me pushing you on this, for people out there who just, like, what, why should people care about helping others? What's the benefit of taking the time to help others? Um, why do you do it? Yeah, because we all want to do something different, right? Um, so I wanted, always wanted to do something different, but I couldn't do it by myself. I didn't know the way. Mm. So this candle is kind of showing me the way to help people so I know everybody want to help people but they don't know the way so this candle is the way to help people in need and this is I think this is the best way thanks so much thank you